In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a bracket order using thinkorswim and applying a trailing stop loss. Now, I've had students ask me this all the time. I thought I'd just make a quick breakdown as to how I've got my TOS set up to essentially place an order. And the second that order goes through, I've already got my trailing stop loss set and I've already got my take profit set. This is how I've been doing it recently, where I'll essentially have a limit order, okay, where that take profit is fixed and I will have a trailing stop that is totally based off of obviously your trading your trading plan where you know you decided you want to be wrong or where you want to be right your SL and TP so I'll just give you a quick breakdown if I hit buy market and send this through you'll see I get filled here okay just got filled on one contract on spy and you can see I've got my trailing stop here and I've got my take profit here essentially what's going to happen is that as this order okay sits here and i'm short right now currently on spy i'm in some spy puts if spy continues to sell off this order this trailing stop is going to trail behind so if i'm up 10 percent on this position that means my trailing stop is going to move to break even it'll incrementally move up right so again it's trailing so that means if my take profit is set at 20 percent Okay, in this instance, and my stop loss is set at negative 10. Once I'm up 10%, my stop loss is gonna move to break even. And once I'm getting very close to take profit at 20, you can see my stop loss will continue pushing up. So I'll be up around 9% if I'm up about 19%. And if, you know, this thing reverses, in this case, SPY, and we turn around, well, then that essentially is gonna hit or not our max risk is going to be 10 percent, but we might end up only losing five percent we might get out flat or we might make five percent and i like having that fixed take profit i'm going to run you through a bunch of examples of what this looks like but first i want to show you how to actually set this up on your tos now i'm going to save my workspace here uh the daily trader tos now, what I'm gonna do is I will put that link in the description below. You can click on that link and apply this exact layout to your TOS. You're gonna have the templates here. And all I did was I just set up my brackets, trigger with brackets. And I decided that I wanted to set my SL and TP based off of a percentage. And then you can set your desired percentage here. And if you wanna save that template, there you go. You can save that template. So I've got a bunch of templates saved based off of various risk rewards with my risk exposure, right? Upside and downside in percentage. So let's say I wanna buy five contracts where my stop loss is set at negative 5% and my TP is set at positive 10%. Well, there we go. Now I can either buy market and confirm and send and just be careful if auto sends on and you hit buy market, you'll immediately get filled to make sure that's not checked or you can hit control and click buy. And then you're gonna be able to edit that order and you're able to go in with a limit price as desired. Now you send that through uh, and obviously feel free to adjust the quantity based off your position size. Again, control, buy, edit. And let's say we wanna go in with a limit order at 389 a contract. Gonna send that through and we've got our stop and our limit. Okay, we've got our stop and our limit. If you want a trailing stop, you just hit trailing stop. If you have a normal stop, well, my stop is fixed. So upon entry, my stop is set at negative 5%. It's gonna stay there. I'm always gonna lose 5%. There'll be a little slippage, but that is my max drawdown no matter what. And I have a fixed take profit, okay, at positive 10%. Now, let's say I want to have a positive 15% take profit with a negative 5% trailing stop loss, okay? So my limit is my take profit at 15%. Again, you can change it here. And my trailing stop is negative five. I'm gonna buy one contract. Again, you can buy market, confirm and send, or you can, you can see here, obviously the price at which the contracts are trading, 370. If I wanna buy, you gotta be under bid, and then you can click control and then buy and then you're going to be able to edit that and change that to a limit order so you actually have to go to the bid okay click control click buy that's the only way you can actually place a limit order otherwise like i said buy market and then send that through and now you can see we just got filled 
my trailing stop is set at negative five. That's the most I'm going to lose on this trade accounted for a little slippage because these are option contracts. And what's going to happen is, like I said, SPY is going to continue. If it continues to pull back, my stop loss is going to move to break even if I'm up 5% and so on. Now, I'm going to give you uh, pretty much a live replay of a bunch of examples just to see how this plays out. So now you know how to set a trailing stop loss and use brackets on the Think or Swim platform. It's super easy. It's going to relieve stress from yourself and it's going to buy you back a whole lot of time. Now, if you'd like to learn how to trade, if you'd like to have access to see and copy all of my trades in the stock market or simply learn the lifelong skill of trading, click the first link in the description below where you can apply for my mentorship group. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.